The Toronto Raptors are making moves. As the news has come out today, the Raptors have signed Jarrett Roden. With training camp just around the corner, Masai Ujiri is building out this roster, bringing in an elite wing scorer that absolutely dominated the G League last season. This is some implications on other roster moves, specifically Christian Coloco, a guy that a lot of Toronto Raptors fans have had their eyes on in terms of a guy that when he's healthy, when he's cleared to play, will return to the Toronto Raptors in some people's eyes based off of the moves, the transactions that's gone down. This signing does have some serious implications in terms of the future of Christian Coloco with the Raptors. Not saying he's gone, but it does have some implications that we're going to dive into in this video. But before we do, folks, again, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest Toronto Raptors news, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding this Toronto Raptors team. But let's dive into it. Let's dive into the news because... The Raptors Instagram posted today, this is the first place I saw it, that the Raptors have signed Jared Roden. And Blake Murphy revealed a lot of details surrounding this contract. Essentially, it's an Exhibit 10 deal for Jared Roden per a source, so it's a camp invite to compete for the 15th roster spot or a two-way contract. And he gets a bonus if he's with the Toronto Raptors 905. So that's the first thing to sort of uh, break down and reveal about this contract for Jared Ronan is this guy is not signed to a guaranteed contract, similar to Bruno Fernando, similar to different guys. You know, Bruno Fernando was on an Exhibit 10, but there's a lot of players now in the Toronto Raptors camp that are out here to compete for a roster spot. And Jared Ronan is a guy that's sort of brought in to Again, compete for one of those final 15 guaranteed roster spots, but if not, he's incentivized to stay with the Toronto Raptors and join the Toronto Raptors 905 if, uh, you know, he decides to stay into the system and things like that. And more details were essentially broken down by Blake Murphy as essentially this, uh, you know, the Raptors camp and roster is now filled at 21 bodies, 14 guaranteed, three two ways, and three exhibit tens, and Fernando's non-guaranteed uh, salary. So, Essentially, it's easy to change those two ways, Exhibit 10s and uh, non-guaranteed deals if needed, but the camp roster as of right now is set. Plenty of space below the tax for in-season moves if needed. So also, Blake Murphy went on to say, because I thought we did have the 21 bodies already uh, kind of filled up for trading camp, but it should be noted that Quincy Guarier, who was reported to have an Exhibit 10 contract, hasn't been made official yet by the team. It's been reported a few times. Sometimes there will be uh, Exhibit 10s signed after the initial training camp cuts purely for Raptors 905 purposes. So if there ends up being an extra camp name. That would be how and that would be why. So essentially that's uh, the where, uh, you know, Quincy Guerrier, the, the whole rosters construction as is right now i give some answers on that front but essentially uh you know uh, jared's coming in as a player that is expected to be one of those sort of training camp compete earn your roster spots so firstly before we dive into christian colloquial stuff who is this guy who is uh who, who is this man coming into the toronto raptor system well he played for the detroit pistons last season didn't put up the the craziest uh of stats or anything along those lines you know uh, jared roden put up five in 17 games five points per night two rebounds uh one assist shot 39 percent from the three-point line which is very encouraging he's 6-6 he's a strong wing you know you look at a play you look at the highlights he's explosive he's athletic he's about he's gonna be 25 years old you know in the next few days so a guy that's not crazy young but has put up some ridiculous stats at least in the g league level in terms of uh getting buckets and being a scorer you can see his g league stats here on the screen right now Essentially, a guy that, uh, you know, for the Detroit Pistons G League affiliate last season, averaged 21 points per game, you know, shot seven threes a night, shot 39% from the three-point line there along those lines. He's a good free throw shooter, rebounds the ball well, six rebounds a game, you know, for a player that's uh, six, 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 that's very impressive there. You know, Hustler, three assists. It was just kind of the focal point guy, a score, a two-way player, so... And Jared Roden is a very interesting prospect to come in and, again, compete for one of these roster spots. Now, the Toronto Raptors, in terms of roster construction, are filled to the brim in terms of uh, players that are on that 6'6", shooting guard, small forward sort of positioning. And Roden would be another player that has to compete for uh, one of these roster spots. Wrong graphic kind of brought up there. But... Essentially, you know, in terms of dynamic scores, right? Again, we can look at RJ Barrett, Scotty Barnes out there as they're starting two and three out there on the wings. We still have Bruce Brown on this roster. He's going to get minutes as long as he's on this team. We have Grady Dick, who's going to be looking for a run. Jacoby Walter, who's going to be out there looking to run. JFL did end up getting cut, but we do have uh, different pieces now onto this Toronto Raptors team. So, Jared Roden, if he's going to be competing for and earning one of those, uh, you know, guaranteed roster spots, he's, uh, he's going to have to perform really well. 
right? And uh, there's less of a glut. You know, we have our two-way guys in terms of DJ Carton, you know, a player that uh, is definitely very encouraging. Davion Mitchell, Jamal Shedd, kind of combo guys to play the naturally back of point guard position to our Emmanuel quickly out there at the at that spot. So Jiro Roden, I wouldn't be shocked if he, uh, you know, comes in and might be able to earn that spot. His main competition in terms of players that are in-house right now is Bruno Fernando, who is a player that, you know, I think is more of a positional need, needs some rebounding, needs some front court help, you know, especially uh, we'll see how Kelly Olenek continues to perform. Didn't do that much in the Olympics this year, but again, the NBA game and FIBA game is a little bit different, but uh, with, you know, Sasha Vizenkov getting cut, still Christian Coloco uh, out on uh, not signed or not picked up. Earl Trump chase still a couple years away. Really our front court is situated right now with a Yaka Pirtle, with a Kelly Olenek. And then, uh, you know, Bruno Fernando maybe slides in there. We'll see how things, uh, Jonathan Bogbo, right, is another piece that uh, should be looked at in that front court help. But we do have a lot of guys on that wing position right now in terms of roster construction. So what does that mean for other pieces, other players? Because uh, Blake Murphy kind of broke down. The training camp roster is set, and it doesn't really make sense for the Toronto Raptors to be going out there and signing folks if you know, they have plans of bringing back, you know, Christian Coloco in the coming weeks, you know, depending on his health and situation. And the lateness as to these signings and uh, the late decision on Sasha Vizenkov and the continuously moving timeline in regards to Christian Coloco's health, because if you're not familiar, and I made a bunch of videos on this this summer, Christian Coloco has been spotted around the Toronto Raptors organization, been spotted around the team and, uh, you know, it's summer league, different training camps, different events. His agent has spoken out about uh, the Raptors being interested in bringing back Christian Coloco. Masai Ujiri has even name dropped him a couple times. Christian Coloco is a guy that's been linked to the Toronto Raptors a ton this summer, and it looks like he's going to get cleared in regards to health and safety, uh, be, uh, you know, the qualifications, the readiness to play program after he had to get cut last season due to blood clots in his lungs. So essentially, a lot of people are like, hey, Christian Cloak is a high potential prospect, you know, a guy that kind of got robbed as he was on the upswing in his career, right? The Raptors, it makes sense to bring him back, especially where he's at a positional need for this Toronto Raptors team. But now the roster and Blake Murphy, I'll pull up his uh, sort of uh, breakdown on all this again right uh in terms of uh, what's going on with all these situations it's not impossible you know if needed to change up the two-way contracts the exhibit tens the non-guaranteed deals if christian coloco does end up uh getting approved getting uh qualified for the health and safety uh you know initiative or you know, eligible to play by the nba it's all good if christian coloco can come back the raptors are able to move some players around get some things cooked up so christian coloco can return to the team but in terms of optics in terms of uh, whether or not it would make sense for Masai Ujiri to make one of these moves in regards to uh, Christian Coloco, if they're just going to bring him back and then, you know, you're giving Jerry Road an extra $200,000 or whatever in terms of these non-guaranteeds and they end up getting cut or kicked out of camp and stuff. I mean, that would be a weird play. That would be an interesting sort of direction. So even though it's still possible, Christian Coloco could be returning to this team and, uh, you know, he gets approved for health. The fact that, you know, two months ago we heard that Christian Coloco's health is imminent in terms of getting approved to play and all those types of things, I think there must be some stuff going on behind the scenes that Masai Jury, the Raptors front office, Bobby Webster have said, hey, we can't miss out on potential prospects like a Jerry Roden that has put up some serious numbers in the G League and say just off the risk of Christian Coloco potentially, you know, coming back and all of those type of stuff. So I think it's less and less likely now that Jared Roden has been signed, that Coloco will be back with the team at least, you know, in the coming weeks. But again, as Blake Murphy put it, things can be changed. Things can be adjusted. Things can be tweaked. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about a Christian, about the Jared Roden signing, a Christian Coloco return or anything along those lines. You guys are the best thing as far again. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm signing out. Cheers.